this uh, exaggerate uh, the Ford press uh, just a little bit so you see what I mean. After setting club to the ball and then placing my left foot in position uh, for my intended alignment, now the wag will start. This is the starter to the motor, to the backswing. Watch. I push down and then I go everything together. Push down, the weight sort of shifts to the left side, down, and then all to go together. You don't get your forward press and then just let it sit there. Once you have your forward press, everything goes away. Swing should be rhythm. It's a waggle and a forward press, and it flows together. It's just like music. I try to make my swing, I call it oil, where I have uh, no uh, effort to try to hit or jump or jerk. There's no jerk. It's just up and then it flows together. Well, I tried, I found out I tried to make my swing as simple as I could, could make it. I think the most important one now, you won't come over. When I uh, address the ball, I make the club come back in that same position as I started. Okay. But if I do that, I can't do this. And if I do that, I can't do that. So, uh, in other words, that's cut out uh, two or three, but it's got to be uh, slow. Mm -hmm. You have to stop up here to start back anyway, mm -hmm. but you stop up there. I played my best uh, golf when I had a slight hesitation at the top. Mm -hmm. Well, then I wouldn't come over here or do these funny mm -hmm. things. You've taught so many, many people uh, over the years. What are the most common mistakes that you see the average golfer make? Grips. Grips. Bad grips. Mm. Is tempo. Tempo is... I think that's everything. Yeah. Okay. Did you hear him in football? He said, he's got the rhythm now. He's mm. got the tempo. Well, rhythm and tempo is the same thing. Okay. And golf, to me, is uh, is timing and and, and uh, rhythm. Mm -hmm. You've got to have rhythm in there, almost anything. In music, mm -hmm. anything you do, it's rhythm. And uh, this fellow came down, and, and the side's going further than the ball. I said, hey, you can't knock the ball over that mountain. He says, well, I'm trying. <laughs> and I used up about every repertoire I knew of and whatnot. And finally, I said, you know, the old timey pros used to teach uh, waltz time. Mm -hmm. La, 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 um, bum. He said, I should know something about that. So what do you mean? He said, I'm a professional dancer. I said, could you swing? He had a five iron. I said, could you swing the five iron in waltz time? He says, hell yes. I said, well, have at it. You never saw so many pretty beautiful shots in your life. And he'd been playing for a while. And uh, uh, he said, why didn't somebody tell me about this before? I said, well, I, I, I've been trying to tell you. I said, it's rhythm. Mm -hmm. And he started time to thing just build. He said, boy, he says, how easy can it get? I said, wait till tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Heck, I learned barefooted. <laughs> you don't, uh, you can stand on one foot and uh, hit a golf ball, but good foot action, you get together, it gives you a little bit more heat uh, down at the bottom. It's a one-piece swing. That's all I think about. When I take the club back, all goes together. At my address, I have the forward press. That starts the whole business. The feet and the hands go back together. You roll off the inside of your feet. Like on your back swing, you roll off the inside of your left foot, and then in the follow-through, you roll off the inside of your right foot. It's uh, common sense, it's just nice rhythm. All goes together, and if you get it all together, brother, you can play some golf. <laughs>